Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rafi West. Um, um, I just want to have a talk today about, um, you know, so sometimes just things come into my mind, and, um, you know, um, I wanted to talk about, like, a big thing now in the finance world is cryptocurrency, and um, a lot of people on here are like, um, shilling Ripple, you know, XRP, um, there, there's a lot of good cryptocurrencies and I believe in the future of it, but I wanted to talk about why one would want to be rich in the first place, you know, um, money is not everything, right? I mean, Money just makes life easier and just makes you more of what you are. And um, here we are on the verge of possibly an opportunity, let's say, in cryptocurrency. And um, people want to become wealthy. And, um, you know, the have-nots want to be the haves, right? We all want to have something. And... Um, you know, I didn't grow up wealthy. Um, I don't have a lot of money. Um, um, it would be nice to have money, to have a significant amount of money that, um, you know, anytime you hear about money or when someone tries to teach about money, they want to say, like, uh, what does money mean to you? And, um, you know, so a good exercise, I think, is, money what does money mean to you so money is and you fill in the blank and um a lot of people say you know to me money is freedom you know freedom to do what you want and um to have a lot of money is not meant to sit down and be idle just sit idle and do whatever you want and um, indulge if you like drinking. I like having wine sometimes. You know, I just went um, 120 days without wine purposely. Um, I want to take care of my health a little more. I'm getting a little bit up there. And um, even more important than money or before we become wealthy because i have to believe that if you're in the cryptocurrency market it's a two-pronged thing it's you believe in the technology and um the have-nots like we want to have something you know most of the wealth i think it's controlled in this world by one percent of people you know the top 10 people in the world the buffets of the world zuckerberg jeff Bezos and um, it's not fair but you know life is not fair and um, you know and that's not to sit back and um, cry and be a victim we all have occupations we all do something for a living even if you're out of a job now you know stuff happens we all put a little bit in a retirement account if we have a job that's lucky enough to have a pension or we have a 401k and that's all good, but even before you come, before you become financially wealthy, you got to become wealthy inside. And um, what I mean by that is, um, you know, there's a lot of things. There's um, the social aspect of your life. You know, are you? Do you have a good social life? Are the people in your social circle are they very low on the narcissism scale? The Machiavellian scale, um, the psychopathic scale, um, the anxiety scale. Those are the top three or four psychological traits. And um, we have a lot of anxiety in the world. We have a lot of Machiavellianism in the world. Psychopaths continue to run rampant. And even narcissism. And most of us have a little bit of narcissism in us, you know. We want to be right, but before we become wealthy, because if wealth falls on our laps in a relatively easy way, let's say we invest in cryptocurrency and we become wealthy, 
what are we going to do? You know, not only do you have to learn about money and what you're going to do with this excess money, um, hopefully it's not all material things. You know, you can buy a lot of material things with money, cars, homes, um, clothes, jewelry. Those material things are not everything either. And, um, you know, I, I've been thinking a lot about lately, you know, um, if you've been investing in crypto, you've been a little frustrated with this bear market, which I think is going to last for a while, by the way. But um, I'm having wine. I have wine with a straw. I mean, feel free to ask me why in the comments. But even more importantly, there's a lot of things that I want before this wealth happens, you know, um, I want to be right with God. Um, nobody's perfect. I always say uh, you could be an excellent human being. No one can be perfect, but you can be a person of excellence and you can have those virtues or traits that we all need as human beings. Patience, um, conscientiousness. Um, you know, if there's something on the floor, don't walk over it, pick it up. Whether it's in your hallway, outside in your hallway of where you live, if you have a hallway, um, at your job. Um, if you have garbage with you and you're on public transportation, the subway, you put it in the garbage receptacle and not on the seat or on the floor. That's conscientiousness. Prudence is the ability to make right decisions decision making is not uh, an easy thing you know we decide everything from what we're going to wear when we get up to go outside to go to work to um, who we're going to be with who we're going to spend our time with so you want to get good at prudence and i've been learning this you know a lot more because common sense is not common anymore Prudence, um, you want um, a person who, um, not so Six Sigma-like, which is, um, you know, like double-checking stuff. I never used to double-check stuff. I used to always say, I have a good eye, I have a good memory, um, I don't make mistakes. But double-checking stuff, double-checking before you leave the house, make sure you have everything. Um if you write something to somebody, as I'm making this YouTube video before I upload it, double check. Make sure it is what I want to be uploaded. If, if I've titled it right, um, if my tags are right. Um, you want to have that. You want to have industriousness, which is um, the ability and the willingness to work hard if you have to work hard. And for... A lot of the good things in life, you have to work hard, even investing, investing in cryptocurrency or stocks. You have to do some homework. You know, uh, sometimes there's luck. You can blindly park money somewhere and get lucky. But before you get wealthy, the goal of getting wealthy is not to sit and be idle because we are creatures of habit. We are social creatures. We want to socialize with people. So you want your social life intact. I would want my social life intact. I want to be right with God. I want to, um, you want to take care of your health, you know. Um, you see me having wine here. The key to that is moderation. Moderation, by the way, is with wine is two glasses a day for men, one glass for women. There's also been study out um, studies out that no alcohol is good for is good for you. You want to exercise? I mean, there is no better medicine than exercise. You know, um, lately as I've been getting up there, it's easy to take Tylenol PM to sleep. Even melatonin, which is natural, it lowers after the age of 40. Um, chamomile tea. There's all these things to help, but there's nothing like 
allowing yourself to do things naturally. You know, this is not natural. This is not a natural substance that belongs in your body in order to be healthy. This is a thing that you need to keep in moderation um, to, um, you know, so when, when and if big wealth comes, you know, we're sitting now on a cryptocurrency, which um, some of the coins are pretty low, XRP, Ripple, uh, XLM, Stellar. Bitcoin, I think, is overvalued, but it's still at a place that if you parked money and it exploded, suddenly you have money. And money is just a tool. It's a tool to um, help your life for you to become healthy, wealthy, happy, um, picking the right people in your life, you know, um, getting right with God. Um, we all have to have these things in place in case wealth comes because everybody wants wealth in some fashion. And um, let's be honest, a lot of it want it the easy way. You know, we play lotto. A lot of people play lotto almost every day. And it's cool if you hit, you know. But um, what is... What is that you want to be right with? You don't want wealth to change you, who you are, and start being mean with people or being nice to the wrong people and allowing them in and causing you more challenges than you need. So here we are sitting on the verge of this wealth opportunity, you know, and um, it's cool to know, like, just recently, I started to learn about how to write covered calls in the stock market. And it's like the beginning the beginning of the more advanced things you could do besides just buying and selling stocks. You can write covered calls. And I've wrote a couple and, you know, and um, money is not everything because what's everything is how you relate with people letting the right people in your life. There's nothing wrong with wanting to build something. I'm here trying to build something online to create passive income, but it doesn't come easy and I don't want it for free. I, I am on here to try to give something of value to the world. Um, I've studied a little bit of stuff in my life, you know, and I, I do want to give value to the world. Um, I'm very grateful that, um, I haven't given in completely to addictions and I could have very, you know, I grew up in the ghetto and I could have very well given in to addictions or selling drugs on the corner, saying that the government is against me, uh, the white man is rich, it's against minorities, uh, you know, um, that kind of talk. And, um, so I guess what I'm saying is, we are sitting on an opportunity, cryptocurrency, that can give us some wealth. Like I said, money is a tool and it can give you some freedom. Not to sit idle, but um, I like to spend more time with moms. I'm very grateful to have both my mother and my father alive right now. And, you know, to spend time with mom, to um, gain their wisdom. I believe everyone has something of value. I would like to gain wisdom from them. Hopefully they gain some from me. Um, I don't underestimate anybody. I, you know, everybody has something of value to give in this world. And um, money is not everything. Money is just a tool to make it easier for you to get right with God, to um, create good relationships, friendships, um, you know, if you have kids, hopefully you teach them well. School can only teach them so much. You can teach them how to read people so they make good choices in love, friendships. You can teach them how to pick a career, how to identify their strengths, their weaknesses, 
work on that. How to not care what other people think. You can't always care what other people think. This is America, and here the weird works sometimes. The weirdness and crazy ideas and, um, you know, how many stories have we heard of um, people coming out of incarceration and doing great things. Um, we hear about scandals and money and how people steal money. And, you know, America's religion is money. But money is not everything. Money is just a tool and a buy product that can assist you in you learning how to do the important things, which is reading people, who to let in your social circle, how to build something on the side. You know, um, we live in a world that is rapidly changing with technology. It's important to build something on the side, how to do that in a legal and ethical way, how to have an open mind, not be so narcissistic and want to prove that you're right all the time. You want to, um, you know, have an open mind, learn from everybody you encounter know that everyone has something of value and um, how to pick your career how to have a balanced life you know you want to have a balanced life in that you don't want everything to be work you don't want everything to be play you want to balance in between if you're too cold and laid back you want to balance it be a little caring be a little nervous be a little overextending yourself you want to find that balance where you can find happiness happiness is in the grind and the struggle the grind of life when you got to work hard when you're tired when um you don't feel like doing something but you know that you have to do it that's where the beauty and the real grind and the real rewards come from money that is made easy it's easy come easy go you know, if we make money in this cryptocurrency market, it's easy to spend it. You know, money is not everything. You could lose it all. You know, um, I've been out of work a couple of times in my life. I think there was a stat like if you're over the age of 40, there's like almost a 50% chance that you'll be injured or something and be out of work for like half a year. That can happen to anybody, and um, money helps with that, that if you're out and you do have to saddle up in the house, you'll be all right. Money is not meant to be used for evil, you know. Um, um, most people are just um, concerned with their, their appearance, for example, name, brand, clothes everything new and all and that's all cool it's cool to look good you know you go out in the world you guys we see these good looking girls we make a comment on their body and how pretty they look and men may look handsome and all that but what is within is deeper and more important and that is treating people with respect knowing how to read people giving advice when advice is asked of you not being narcissistic and putting it on someone um being a good listener um being observant we live in a world where a lot of things is where a lot of things are happening now you, you need to know a little bit about self-defense and avoiding stuff it's not about fighting and imposing yourself. It's about avoiding stuff, no matter how good you are with your hands. We live in a world where if you see danger, don't be nosy. Avoid it. Change cars on the subway. Cross the street. Because life is not about that. It's not about getting in trouble and all of a sudden you're incarcerated. You know, it's not about being right all the time. It's about... Being a level-headed person and um, studying stuff. Always study stuff. Always study how happy people are happy. 
you know, we hear rich people are snobs. They don't really care about anyone. Do you really know that? Get in the head of a rich person. Successful people like to talk about themselves. Invite them to lunch. There's no harm in that. There's no belittling yourself. Invite a rich person to lunch. Pick their brain. You know, we pick the brain of people who are failing half the time. You know, we ask a broke friend about finances. We ask a person who can't keep a relationship, yo, what do I do with my girl when she's acting up on the phone? We ask them that. Successful people will talk if you corner them and all of a sudden ask them, they will open up to you. I just talked to someone the other day. He's a real estate investor. And we used to just see each other on the fly here and there. I asked him. We ended up talking for about half an hour. I asked him straight out. If you want to invest in real estate as a beginner, is there anything I should know? Any programs out there? What tips do you have? What mistakes do you see other people doing out there? What, um, you know, um, what do I need to look out for? Do you need money? What markets are good? Um, they'll open up to you, man. You know, um, rich people are busy. Successful people are busy. And they may come across as rude or a snob or I don't have time. But if you pick a wealthy person's mind, it's a very good conversation. You can get so much out of them. Books are good. You can read books, but you can't ask the author questions. So when you have a successful person nearby, it could be your own doctor. And you can be the only one that you go to see your doctor and you talk about your health and you say, Doc, can you give me five minutes? You know, you may be financially successful. Can I ask you a few things about that? You'll be surprised. They'll give you half an hour. You know, um, you know, um, it's easy to pick the brains of people who are failing, people who are average, people that are around you and you know they're not doing the right thing. They're spending all their money. They're racking up their credit cards. They are, you know, doing all the wrong things, having unprotected sex, having kids um, on an unwanted basis. But what about the successful people who are working towards something, the people who are on the grind and loving it, the people that you go visit who are professionals, just because you're going to a doctor's appointment, it doesn't mean you only have to talk about health. You could say, hey, doc, give me five minutes and tell me about what you do, what rituals you do with your family. What do you do with your finances? You know, they'll open up to you. They'll be surprised. One time I called a real estate agent's office and I had a book with me and I was, and there were some questions on there about um, things like how many deals have you made? What's the biggest mistake you see people making in your field? And at first he was like, um, why are you asking me this? Why do you want to know? But then he opened up to me. I ended up talking on the phone for like 45 minutes. Write to someone in your local neighborhood, a business you go to all the time. It could be a pizzeria. It could be um, the corner store. Write to them and then pop in and go, hey, that was me who wrote to you. I just wanted to pick your brain about what rituals you have. What am I missing? I'm trying to start a little side hustle online. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. What's your advice business-wise? It might be something simple as consistency and clarity, doing things consistently. You know, I just took a challenge from someone to upload videos um, multiple times a day as opposed to once every three weeks like I was doing. I don't know if I'll keep that up, but just the simple challenge, I've uploaded half a dozen videos in a day, which I've never done yet. So open your mind and be open-minded. Be like a child. Children ask questions. Why this? Why that? I made a video on vocabulary. Sometimes I'll use a big word with someone and I could see they don't know what it means, but they won't ask me, what's that? What does that mean? 
What does kibosh mean? What does juxtapose mean? Ask me that. You know, uh, lately I've been trying to work on my weakest subjects, which is history. And if you want to make money investing, you, it's good to know a little bit about history. I've been asking these millennials who are fresh learning from history about World War II, World War One. It's my weakest subject, so I want to know about it. Anyway, the point of this video, I don't want to make it too long, but be a learning machine. Open up. Don't think you know everything. And before wealth comes, if it comes in an easy way, investing, if you make a lot of money in investing, it's kind of in an easy way. Yes, you can invest in Elon Musk. Yes, you can invest in Jeff Bezos. You parked money and you may have gotten some luck or a big return. But what are you going to do with that? Double down. On what you're doing I'm trying to build a side hustle right here online that's no secret but I'm not trying to short change you guys I'm trying to bring something of value I don't want to short change anyone you know I don't even want to charge somebody for anything I want to bring value from my experience and what I've learned maybe there's some books or something that I've looked into that you haven't you know, but anyway, open up a dialogue here on the comments section. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Learning, bringing value, what's realistic, um, even about investing. Is it real? Is it not? Do we have an opportunity to get wealthy? And what are we going to do with the wealth? And what are we going to do before we become wealthy? Are we going to get right with God? Are we going to get good at reading people? Are we going to get right with our friendships, with our relationships? Um, because any day can be your last. I made some videos on a crash in upstate New York where I have roots. I've lived there for four years. And um, biggest crash in transportation history in a while happened up there. And any day can be your last. It's good to enjoy life. I'm sitting here with wine because I'm free right now and I'm having wine, but that's got nothing to do with money I just want to know what your thoughts are on what is the purpose of us being here and becoming a learning machine learning how to read people those things are more important because when the wealth comes it's not about sitting idle and buying material things that are gonna leave us empty it's about getting right with God Getting right with the people around you, learning how to read people, learning the things they didn't teach us in school, learning how money works, learning that the rich are not all snobs and we could pick their brain and they'd love to talk about themselves, and learning to deal with our own insecurities and opening up. And um, so, yeah, you know, I'm going to bring you guys more content. It's kind of on the personal development side. That's what I'm about. That's what life is about, I believe. And, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about. I want to start reading novels more. I want to start reading biographies. History is my weak subject. I need to work on that. Um, math was my best subject. We don't need all the math in the world. We need percentages and ratios in the real world. That's all we need. But in school, they teach you... Um, obtuse triangle, um, trigonometry, calculus. You don't need that in the real world. You need percentages and ratios. I've learned that. I'm grateful about that. And um, we need to know how to read people and communicate. And um, this video is going on for a while. I don't want it too long, but let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of talk. It's kind of on the personal development side. I'm here obviously trying to build something online. I have other things in the works. I will reveal to you in the future. This is Rafi West talking about this stuff. It started out about wealth and what we're going to do with it. But let me know what you guys think um, and what you guys want to hear. Because if it's a topic I don't know about, I could delve into it and learn. And you guys can teach me. Okay, so let me know. This is Rafi West. Having some red, red with Rafi will be the lives when I get enough subscribers and when enough people are interested. Whatever you guys are into, 
I'm open-minded. Open-minded means you're open to everything. All right, guys. Anyway, this is Rafi West. Peace.